Alright, welcome back to another video. We already saw the first trailer of the Nintendo Direct, which was the Monster Hunter uh, one, and we made a video about that. Let's take a look at the rest of the uh, of the uh, Direct and check what uh, can we expect or what might I might be interested on covering this channel. Alright, let's take a look. Alright, you talk about uh, Monster Hunter Red Sunbreak. The next thing uh, that it came, a couple things uh, were announced. It's or during the night, so they uh, the the and next the trailer was Superstars Mario Party, along with Spaceland and Peach's of course birthday, Superstars. Hey, several other boards make their return. Yeah, you know I so wasn't too excited about that. It's a Mario Party. It's a fun for game for friends. Uh, might take you'll a look depending on what the wife wants. Other than that, uh, other than that, it's a normal Mario Party. Power 29 though. Cards. The second thing that they show was these things about cards from Square Enix. Uh, card gameplay. Just skip that. Also, the way on October. I didn't care that much for what they were showing in the third one, so I decided to skip ahead. Um, kind of not not looking forward to that one either. Here we go. This is trailer I can. Warriors, Age of Here we go. This is trailer I can get uh, right behind. At it's the Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity expansion pass. I actually might pick up these to uh, play a little bit more. Never finish quite uh, unlocking all the characters, so I might take a look at that. I have posted, I think, almost uh, all of the side missions, but I have to check. I didn't complete them all, so... The trailer looks really interesting. And then uh, they have uh, one more character, I believe, Pura and Pai, a combined character, that, that is interesting on what is going on. Pai looks sick, though. So this is more story, so that makes it a little bit more substantial. Um, Pre-order for this is actually available now, and in the Wave 1 is actually available now, which is additional weapons for Link and other people. Wave 2... It's what they're trailing over here with the additional story content that it's gonna come later this year. I believe it's the end of October, but we'll see. Yeah, this is super. This looks super fun. Oh yeah. This looks super fun. Uh, having Pura and Paya. October 29. Another release on October 29. Which is weird. I think this is like the third. Thing, or the second thing I found. Ready, well, let's keep going. Set, Not gonna lie, Chocobo Racing set, was interesting. It's like experience. a good replacement for Mario Kart. So I like didn't Gilgamesh play these before. The and uh, Mario Kart is fun. It's a lot of fun. So I might just, oh, uh, from time to time, maybe go the back into that. I've been looking into Magical trying the arcade Mario Kart since the room is a. Uh, things everything is just running around on the internet but um this looks really fun this is something that it might be a good thing to see and get yeah but this is a next year thing so unless they get a new mario kart announced so of course there wasn't any smash there wasn't any announced of smash it's just there's announced or uh, smash announcements later but then uh, they have this I was wondering because it looked uh, uh, it looked prideful. People is wanting uh, Mario Odyssey, and I didn't uh, didn't believe it was Odyssey. It looks like something that could be on that at the beginning. Looks like open world, so it was interesting on that on that on on that part of the equation. But this is what sold it. It's a Kirby game. Pretty much close to the start of uh, Mario Odyssey, which is. Kinda nice, actually. The trailer looks... He looks good. I wish, uh, gameplay... They show a little bit of gameplay, I think. Yeah, a little bit. But it looks good. It looks, uh, oh, open world. It's Kirby and the Forgotten Land. You get to run around as Kirby. <laughs> on a 3D... On a 3D world. This is kinda cool. Yeah, the trailer, uh, it's super impressive. I'm super glad that they did a Kirby game. This might be something that I picked up. I don't know if I'm gonna put it on the channel yet, but this might be something that I might uh, picked up a little bit to try it out and uh, maybe play it, play it up. I'm interested on this. I don't remember if they announced the uh, release date, but oh well. 
All right, so the release date was marked as Spring 2022, so no actual date. More announcement on Animal Crossing that I didn't care about, and then updates for the current uh, the current games available on the Switch. They uh, talk about Mario Golf, Koopa Troopa, new character, and other stuff. And the ninjas are also. Uh, they mentioned something about having two additional courses. Um, and it was launched the same day on the 23rd, where the well, when it was uh, the direct was allowed. They mentioned something about a Disney game, which I stopped paying attention. Like an old game ported again. I just again stopped paying attention. The other action RPG didn't seem to interest me, so I decided to skip. All right, so they did show another trailer for uh, Samus, for Metroid, uh, for the new Metroid. This this game is actually about to release next next month in October, which is interesting that they decided to release another trailer. But they, I guess they wanted to do, do it well, and they show what it's about to come. This is actually uh, available in October also, uh, and the trailer shows a little bit more of gameplay, but it's pretty much the same we seen thing and we expect for a Metroid game, so I'm cool with it. I might be picking this up. This is kind of super cool. There may be a very small opportunity to escape. And I'm very excited about this, uh, this one. And the release date for Metroid Dread, it's actually... Uh... It reports there oh. as well. You I forgot that they talk about the website and a little bit more. Head. So October 8th is the release date, like next Launches month at the beginning Nintendo of the Switch, month, October 8th. right about. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Another thing that is kind of interesting is the new content for the online subscription, which is that not a paid add-on. That's the only thing I didn't like, but they're including Nintendo 64 games and a Sega Genesis collection games, which is a good addition for this. Um, it's just an extra payment. And depending on how much it is, uh, I don't know. The only one that I'm really excited about is just that Sin and Punishment. Uh, Cause Sin and Punishment was one of the, those games that never got ported to the USA uh, to begin with. There, there were only uh, other ways to play it, but it hasn't been that available. Other than that. Also, they show additional controllers for the Switch, wireless, Nintendo 64 and Sega Genesis uh, controller, but again, expensive tools. If we're gonna use a Sega Genesis controller, I'd rather take the Avido 6 button Saturn controller. Um, Shadowrun Trilogy wasn't that much of an interest for me, so I just decided uh, to go ahead and skip that. This is one. The next one is a big one for me. The Konami Digital Collection, Castlevania Adventures. Uh, Castlevania Advance Adventures. That was actually released on the same day. It's available on Steam, I believe on PS4, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. It makes sense to have it on Nintendo Switch because they were original on the Game Boy Advance. This is something that I might not pick up right away, but I definitely will buy a copy and maybe make a, a a couple, run, a couple runs or a couple videos on it. So they're great, great additions to the collection. N now the next game was Arc Racer. The Arc Racer is interesting because I never, I never remember this game. I remember the name, but I never played it. I never played it per se. And um, it looks really good. The, the two D side scrolling parts looks really good. The only thing that doesn't con convince me is the over the head, like building a city type of Sim City gameplay. So I don't really care about that. Those games, so it might be difficult for me. I pick up something similar recently, like a. A couple months ago, and I didn't do anything with that. It was a smelter. Um, it was really cool hybrid tower defense with the Mega Man playstyle. The Mega Man based stages work kind of addicting as hell, and and uh, they get harder with uh, some parts and skills and and trials. But the top view was kind of what killed me out of it. I got tired of the of the tower defense gameplay, and you know what? I would buy these, but I'm afraid that I might get tired of the top of the uh, top top view of it. 
Delta wear. All right, cool. So Hi, the next couple I games, I didn't care that much because they were you not on my. Yeah, so there was a lot of games that weren't on my wheelhouse. And, CEO, and then they producer, talk about the. Design. And then they uh, talk well, about the movies, Mario the movie movies. with Shigeru Miyamoto. Um, that that combination. I think it's animation because it's illumination, and they make the Minions movies. So yeah, that's what they're doing. They talk about having. Uh, I mean, for next year, at the end of the year, and holiday. Okay. They said actually, they, uh, that's the only thing that they gave a solid release day was December 21, 21, 22. They did announce the actor script pad being Mario, which is kind of cool. Star Lord is gonna be uh, oh, Mario Goofy. I don't know who's Tanya Anya Taylor, anyways. Charlie Day. That's the one thing that I found hilarious. I I can't wait to see him to hear him as Luigi. <laughs> Jack Black, Bowser, Bowser just kind of cool. Jack Black is super hilarious, Black. too. King and Michael Key. King and Michael Key, it's a Keegan funny Michael guy. So, Toad might be the punch bag. To, even though and Seth Rogen and Donkey, Donkey Kong. Kong and it, it's fun It's fun that they actually went ahead and, and released all that. Now we have a Splatoon trailer. Splatoon trailer, always look interesting. I never played a Splatoon game. I don't think I'm going to pick this up, though. Um, I might. The only thing I might do, I might pick up the old one and try to play it. But I, I never picked up another Splatoon game, even though the gameplay is things fun. It's a lot of competitive and shooters just are not my thing. More, mostly more into fighting game, maybe 2D side scroller, like Metroidvanias. That's that's what I I dig into. I'm Monster Hunter. Other than that, this was fantastic. Ah, uh, the next the the next trailer that they uh, used to close though. It was really impressive. But yeah, the last trailer that they the last trailer that they knew it was like a switch and bait with uh, things from other things, but it was a platinum because we saw on the at the beginning the platinum sign uh sign over there. Right at the beginning of the trailer also there was a platinum sign and uh, it looked a little bit rough just the style but other than that, I uh, I was kind of excited because there's a lot of big monsters on the on the pages and everything, and uh, we uh, just waiting to what it was. And this is a game that I definitely definitely gonna pick up. Um, no matter what it is, it's just I'm gonna pick it up, even though if I don't get to play to play it, because it is a Bayonetta game. I love this intro when they had the dog pointing and then she comes fashion a little late Bad boy <laughs> It seems I'm unfashionably late but I'm ready to give you <laughs> I love that. Bayonetta is, uh, they, they show something, they said that it's not in gameplay, but they show a little bit that looks like gameplay. It kind of looks solid, as long as it runs solid, because that's the only thing, but it's on the Nintendo Switch, so hopefully it, uh, on, the, on the case for that will be that gameplay is key. Looks like fun as hell, though. Another Devil May Cry style. I, like it's Bayonetta. If you know Bayonetta, it is Bayonetta. Sexy wish. And since it's a Nintendo console, they deep kept uh, kept her dress though. <laughs> That's probably why they get, also gave her a lot more hair. She doesn't have to be naked around. <laughs> yeah, man, this looks super cool. Even though, uh, even with the other stuff. Anyways. This trailer was super exciting. This, I think this was one of the best parts. Announcement of Bayonetta. No real date was given, but it is uh, um it is it, it was a trailer to just increase the hype. It looked pretty rough rough in couple parts, but you know what? At least it's there. At least they gave us a uh, trailer and a tentative 2022 for it. Uh, but there was a couple two good things. Uh, with that, I think we cover everything we uh, we can. 
Uh, there was a couple good things with this, uh, and I'm pretty excited of what is actually currently out, which is the one, uh, which is a couple things I, I actually like. The things that are actually currently out, that's pretty much what I wanted to cover. The things I'm about to be covering and, uh, and, and using. Anyways, thank you everyone for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Have a good one, and until the next one, bye!